Hello everybody, it's teacher Amy and I am here today to show you how you can make a find a star reward in less than five minutes. This is for all the teachers that come into our group and say, oh, I just found out that my student really likes waterfalls. Can someone please make a waterfall reward? Our response to that request is usually, well, we encourage you to try it yourself and I will show you exactly how less than five minutes. So right now I am on the slide finder, which is where you find most of your slides, unless you are a planner user. And if you are a planner user, there is a tab on the planner for this as well. At the bottom of the slide finder, there is a tab called GS Builder, and this is where you build your slides. So there are um, templates for many rewards and props here, but there are many find a star templates because we have many different versions. I'm gonna use this six number one just because it is small, so it's, it's quick um, to make. The first thing you wanna do when you open the template is make your own copy so that you can actually make changes to it. So go up to file, hit make a copy, hit OK, and then just give it a second to load. Once it's fully loaded, the first thing you wanna do is change the name of your Find a Star reward in two places. Change it on the yellow box and then also up in the um, left-hand corner. Then you're going to delete slide two because all this does is tell you to change the name, which we just did. Now you're going to go down here to um, the number slide. So this one only has six numbers, which means there will be three stars and three uh, pictures or gifts. So these blank slides over here, the black ones, those are where you're going to put your images or your gifts. So go ahead and go to Google image search and search for something that you want to put on your find a star. Now I have a GIF going here and this is a really high quality image. You can tell because when you click on it, it has a very big thumbnail. There are images that have very, very small thumbnails. These ones are not going to show up as well um, on your slides. So when you have one like this that has a nice big, whoops, where's that other one I had? This one that has a nice big image, it's going to look excellent on your slide. So to copy a GIF, what you're gonna do is two finger click if you're on a Mac or a right click if you're on um, a PC and you're going to do copy image address. Then go back to your find a star, pick one of the blank slides from the left up here to the little mountain range image and click the drop down box next to it and choose by URL. Then you just go ahead and paste your URL in there and then your GIF will just take a second to load. Please make sure that it is centered. We spend a lot of time going through and making sure that all these images are centered, but also you wanna make them as big as they can go. And then when it is in the center, you'll get these red crosshairs that shows that it's in the center. Now this is covering the back button here. So all you have to do is hit command down or control down, and that will bring the image to the back and bring the button to the front. So let's say for the next one, I just wanna do a static image. So I'm just going to search for waterfall. And again, you wanna look for one that has a nice, uh, a nice big thumbnail like this one, nice high quality, high resolution image. This time I'm just gonna click copy image because it's not a GIF, it's not a moving picture. So I don't need the address. I'm just gonna copy the image itself. And go back to my find a star. I'm going to paste. Uh, I did control V there to paste it. And again, I'm going to make this as big as it can go. And I'm not gonna worry that it's covering the back button because I'm just gonna hit command down and then the back button will come to the front. And I'm gonna do one more. So I'm just gonna look for a nice image, nice big high resolution. I'm going to copy that image and I'm going to paste it here, make it as big as it can go and put it in the center. Look for those crosshairs, that's what you want. And that's it. My find a star reward is finished. So the last thing that I would do is I'd probably just take a screenshot of one of these slides and go up to the cover here and add, uh, I do a right click and then do replace image and then just use that screenshot that I just took there to put on the cover. And then I would go down here to the bottom and I would hit this um, link to upload this slide to the slide finder so that we can take a look at it and um, other, other teachers can use it as well. So that's it. It really is that easy, you guys. It's really just copy and paste. So if you have a reward that you have been really, really wanting, that's hoping that somebody would make, now you can go ahead and make it yourself. And I hope that you try it out. It'll take you less than five minutes. Happy teaching.